Hi, welcome to the Excel integration overview video for PlanSwift. Uh, this video uh, is just going to outline what the integration possibilities are, uh, what your options are, uh, system requirements, and the videos following this one will actually outline each individual uh, integration type and how to set that up. So if you've already been playing with PlanSwift a little bit, uh, one of the first things you'll notice under estimating is the ability to export directly to an Excel workbook. Pretty straightforward. Takes the information from PlanSwift, um, the current uh, visible columns, and exports it, dumps it right into a workbook. Um, that's as, about as basic as you're going to get. Um, there is no direct link between that information in the workbook and PlanSwift other than it exported directly to it. Another option you have is to import a template that has, that would be importing an Excel template that has predefined PlanSwift uh, object definitions uh, in that workbook. It will actually import that information and list it out in the estimating screen. There won't be any takeoff yet because that hasn't been done, but it will actually create all of the items within PlanSwift. That's a little more advanced and there will be a video on that. Another option you have, let me pull up my Excel workbook. This is just an empty workbook with the uh, PlanSwift add-ins already installed. Those self-install when you install PlanSwift. Uh, but you'll get a right-click menu inside of Excel where you have the ability to uh, perform takeoff functions. Just by clicking on uh, one of these items here, we can launch that item in PlanSwift, do a count, and then that value is linked back to uh, the selected cell. A couple of other functions in this right-click menu are the ability to select an existing item. Uh, for instance, this takeoff that's already done in PlanSwift, I could pull up a dialog window that has those items, select the item that I want to place in this cell, and record that value. I can also show from an Excel template the Explorer window within Excel, which opens up another dialog to the right. Um, this function is only available in Excel 2007 and 2010. It did not exist in 2003. And we have the ability to connect or disconnect the data from the current PlanSwift job. So if you wanted to take your Excel sheet that has all the values, disconnect that from the job so that you could send it to someone else for review, uh, you could do that and the values will stay. If you don't disconnect it, it's actually looking to um, read directly from the PlanSwift data uh, on a live connection uh, to fill out those values. So if you don't disconnect it um, and you send that to someone, it's just going to read zero values uh, for all the uh, cells. We'll cover that in another video. We have a couple of options along with the import template. Actually, in the job setup, when you create a new job, you'll actually be prompted if you want to import a job template or import an XLS template into, uh, into the current job. From the reports tab, um, you can take any of your reports uh, that you've already formatted or any of the reports that are included with PlanSwift and you can export that directly out to Excel. Now that will take all of the formatting along with it and uh, the, the colors, uh, the layout, uh, all the columns. It's going to take all that information and dump it right into Excel. Now there is not a live link with that one so if you change the value in PlanSwift it's not going to change your Excel worksheet. Another option you have is to export it to an Excel template. So if you had, for instance, an Excel file open that had some amount of header information, uh, footer information, and you wanted to insert all of that takeoff data um, somewhere in the middle of that, that uh, workbook, uh, we'll show you how to um, create those two points where that information will actually dump in between those two uh, locations. So that's pretty handy if you've got a predefined Excel workbook that you want to use. So in a nutshell for the uh, videos following this one, we are going to cover um, the basic Excel integration. We're going to cover creating an Excel template from a blank workbook. We'll also be covering creating an Excel template from an existing um, Excel file that you may already be using uh, for your estimating. We'll cover attaching an Excel template to a job importing an XLS file to an estimate, 
and importing and attaching an Excel file into the uh, estimating screen. As far as system requirements for Microsoft Excel to work with the PlanSwift uh, software, um, versions 2003, 2007, and 2010, uh, the 32-bit editions only are supported. 64-bit versions of Excel are not supported by PlanSwift. As far as having the right-click Explorer menu uh, displayed in Excel, that is only supported by version 2007 and 2010 and we'll outline those a little bit more in the videos to come. Thanks for joining us and enjoy the rest of the videos.